Ma non è che ci metto a più a parlare con me. Non ho avuto tempo. Non Devi, venire. Devi venire. Cerchi il modo di avere tempo. Stai chiuso. Ma che mi guardo in un real chili. Buongiorno, Buongiorno, grazie. Prego. Oh, there's Adriana. Hello. Ora vedo la tua faccia. Uh. <laughs> now, do most of them have inside yeah. ceiling like this or do you just look over? Very good question. Just wait a second because I'm going to explain and okay. answer. I just want to get the extra second video. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I'll look at the little gap though. Lui gatte. Yeah. Or the few. No. Is that the homeowner you created up shop? Yeah, the lady upside is there. Yeah. Wow. This girl was belongs to her family. Picture, yes. Yeah. You can take all pictures you want to, no? Okay. Okay. Is anybody listening? Yes, picture. Yes, picture. Okay. Can I start my exhibition? Yep. Okay, so, uh, well, truly a very small house is. This house was inhabited by a family composed of 13 people. So 13 people oh all together God. in Rome. Wow. Well, that's why life was very spartan, very, very difficult also because there was no privacy. Well, uh, you can also notice the color of the stones. Still, it is still light because they are not subject to the, to the version of the elements. Well, um, <laughs> unlikely, the floor is not the original one, but under this moving floor, there's the original uh, one, which is made of stones. Also, the doors are not wooden doors, because the original, uh, the original door is made of wood. Anyway, when the owners of the house decided to renovate their uh, true law, uh, this happened in 1970s, more or less. And so they still didn't know that UNESCO would declare a world heritage site in 1997. So we can say that they are justified. Also, the toilet, if you turn... Yeah, you can find the toilet behind the curtain. It's quite recent because the original plan of Trullo didn't have a toilet in the house. There was no bathroom, no toilet. The garden was used as toilet as well as cultivate. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's why I really prefer to live in a normal house. house. Well, uh, thickness of walls is very, very important because, um, uh, well, uh, thick walls prevent the loss of heat in winter and they maintain a pleasant temperature in summer. You can notice the difference of temperature from outside and inside. It's quite cool here. <coughs> this depends on the thickness of walls. It, oh, it also depends on the stone. If the walls were made of normal common bricks, temperature would be mm, more or less the same. Thickness is also necessary because people used to carve the wall in order to create more space in it. And so these alcoves were used to create the objects they used every day. Sometimes alcoves were so deep that the bed could be placed in it. If you want to take pictures, you can also sit on the bed. The owners say that it brings good luck. <laughs> okay, so nowadays, nowadays they have electricity, uh, running water, but in the past there was nothing. So truly, uh, nowadays are more comfortable. In a way, life is um, quite. Um, it's not very easy because you can you can notice that rooms are connected through arches. There are no doors, so no privacy. Moreover, in the biggest uh, roof of the house, the people used to be able to force the ceiling. The foster ceiling was used as a storage space and it was also used by the kids as a bedroom because uh, the space in the upper part of the roof is um, small, it's, it is short, so adults could not uh, be standing. And, but the kids, yes, they could. And moreover, it is also the warmest part in the house because, you know, warm here is lighter than cool air, so it goes up. So it, it was also a way of um, getting warm for kids. There is um, another important feature is um, the fireplace. The fireplace was used to warm up the house and to cook because there was no modern heating system. Only the fireplace and ovens. 
There is uh, uh, the underground well, which is very, very important because, as I told you before, rainwater was collected and then used to survive. You know, um, the name of this region, which is Puglia, is sometimes translated uh, with the Latin word Apulia. Mm -hmm. The first A in Latin means without. So, uh, the meaning of the name of Puglia is land without water, without river. That's why the people who used to live in this area knew how to live in harmony with nature. So they knew that they had to use rainwater to survive. Moreover, in the past there was no pollution, so rainwater was good also to drink. This is very um, important because uh, we should learn from them how to live uh, with nature, using it without exploiting it. Because uh, use, to use and to exploit have two different meanings. So maybe we should learn how to live better. Okay, do you have questions about I have two questions for you. How do they retrieve water? They have like yeah. a bucket? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes the well uh, is outside. Oh, the well outside. Yeah. So they just go yeah. 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 The other thing is the wall is finished with some cement between yeah. the 